We've got a whole bunch of amazing video stuff coming from this spot, from this event, so stay tuned. Awesome, tiny trucks, here we go. Hey, hey. So, uh, for everybody that gets to see this, this is the first time for me, it's the first time for Rob, and we're at the James Duff facility in Tennessee. I'm here with Mike. Great to meet you. You too. Thank you very much for having us over at your place. Absolutely. Uh, we, of course, are building tiny trucks, and you guys are specialty into the full size. So, can you give us a rundown? Like, how did James Duff actually start? Oh, it was out of necessity. Really? Yeah. Back in the early, well, the mid 60s, you know, James Duff himself wanted to go Baja racing. Okay. And he was basically saying, well, I need better shocks, you know, I need more travel. I need these things, and they're not, they don't exist. <laughs> and so he started producing these parts, and it turned into an aftermarket business. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And so uh, tell me, how is the family involved? Like, it's still called James Duff, and you're Mike. Yeah. So who else in the family is involved in the business? Well, Susie Duff is now the owner. Uh, oh, isn't she that actually, neat? Yeah, she now runs the business. James retired 10 years ago. Good for but him. James and, and Judy are still involved. Yeah, every nice. day they help us with deliveries and paperwork, computer stuff. It's a definitely a family business. Oh, that's nice. So you guys are in Tennessee. Did, was, were you always in Tennessee? No, we moved here back in 2006. Oh wow, what was the draw to come over here? Well, we wanted something different and we really wanted to get somewhere in a market that hasn't been tapped and we thought, man, the East Coast. No one is in, you know, early Bronco parts was on the East Coast at mm -hmm. the time, so it made, it made sense. Yeah. This is some of the most beautiful stuff I have seen, I think, in the full-size world. Like, talk about perfect fab. I mean, this is incredible. And I'm just standing here with a whole bunch of bumpers, like all of these make me happy. We have <laughs> we have a, a really big key at GCM with our tiny trucks and making parts that are really high quality. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot of time on finish, making sure that the fit is good, the assembly is easy, and it looks like you guys are making tons of fantastic bolt-on stuff. We are. Uh, we, every day we make sure that the product is perfect, and if it's not, we change it. So it's just so tell me about the scene in Tennessee. Do you guys get to go out to different events for full-size trucking? Do you do wheeling yourself? Absolutely. In fact, we have our own event we host in November. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so oh. we get to do that, plus we go to three other major events a year, and we try to fit two smaller ones in as well. Oh, that's nice. So you're like right in there with the wheeling crowd. Yeah, we sure are. Yeah. We feel like we're in the hub. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So the move was a success. It was a huge success. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Well, we're going to have a look around here, and uh, I'm so impressed. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. And having yes, sir. It's great to see you. Excellent. Okay, so 
so with the with the, the help of GCM Racing and uh, and we all build scale one tenth scale small little toy trucks, right? That are really awesome. So GCM has teamed up with James Duff and is creating scale licensed James Duff tiny truck parts. So your, your long arm, got one long arm weighs like what, 35 or 40 pounds? 55. 55 pounds your long arms, and our long arm will sit in the palm of your hand and weighs like two ounces, right? So we got together with a bunch of guys that build scale trucks. There's five of us. And we built Susie a scale truck. We got a painter, a fabricator, a chassis builder, and a interior guy. That's you. <laughs> so Susie, turn 180 degrees and check this out. This is not that one, I'm pretty sure. This is not fragile. Wow. Wow. Pretty wild. Dang, guys. I am blown away. This one doesn't have the long arm yet. Yeah, not yet. Oh, just over there? Yep. That is cool. So all your jump moves, right? All, this moves too. Wow. <laughs> All your jump moves, so this jump moves too. Wow. Yeah. 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 What's, uh, what did you change the opinion angle? Yeah, I can't believe I got to meet the real Susie Duff at James Duff. That was incredible. Oh, yeah. the Man, I'm telling you what, the Duff open house was just out of this world. So much fun, quality people, really good time. I mean, look at her truck. That's the real deal. Like, she rides this thing off-road. It's got so much awesome work put into it. I wonder if they actually test parts on this truck. Uh, I'm thinking they probably have another, you know, super dark horse black magic Bronco that they test parts on. But she wheels the, uh, wheels the heck out of that one. And, uh, man, does it look awesome. It, it sure looks does. It really nice. We spent a lot of time on her Mini Bronco trying to get all the scale details right. I mean, you can see the flower detail work that's put into her full-size truck. Oh, it's yeah. It's unbelievable. And, of course, the only painter we could possibly come up with to do that properly was, guess who? Oh, Matt Dexter. Matt, Matt Dexter. Dex Troyer. This the, uh, guy blew wow. this. I mean, check that out. Look at the difference. I mean, this is Susie's scale truck. And it's got all that exact same flower detail work in the body. He totally it, blew that out of the is, park. It is stupid accurate. It is absolutely ridiculous how close he got. I mean, it is nuts. You wouldn't believe it. If you held the truck in your hand and were there, you'd realize just how good it really is. Here's some of the JD stuff that she's going to get that we're doing on our test chassis over at GCM. I'm amazed that we were able to pull off this scale truck for her yeah, because it seems like it went between like there's parts from two different countries, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you you did the oh, slider man. work on it. That you did the the body protection on the bottom of the doors just what a couple days ago? No, I did that. Uh, I did that the day we were leaving. Uh, wow. We left at like uh, eleven o'clock at night. And Look I did at this. that two hours before I went to bed. <laughs> this metal work got all built up by Troy at Scalar Fab. He did an incredible job. And then Rob Matthews put it together so that it could actually be all fitted right on the truck. And I mean, all that opening gadgets. This thing is incredible. Yeah, talk about working with a team of people. Um, I'm telling you what, this truck oh, yeah. is crazy. <laughs> and you sourced these tires from somebody, and we stuck them on the GCM Detroit rims. And when we married them all up, finally, in Tennessee, we finally got to see what the final product would look like. It's incredible. It's a really yeah, nice truck. I got the tires from David Peterson. Um, super, super shout out to that guy. He lives just down the road, and uh, they worked out perfect. Perfect. 
I was kind of happy that we happened to have a set of aluminum racing seats at GCM that we could put into Susie's truck because that's what she's got in her truck is bucket aftermarket seats just like this. Yeah, and we, we totally need to, uh, we're going to do this tomorrow. We're going to pull the door panels off. Um, Susie's door panels are actually silver, so we're going to pull the door panels off and wrap them with a chrome foil tape and they will really, really match her truck. Um, my OCD is getting at me. We really need to do that. We managed to build her up a console and get the, the same harnesses in the seats and that the project really came together nice. I'm super happy that we could work on this with so many great RC people and oh, the yeah. final result was a real win. Congratulations. Thanks so much, Susie, for being a part with us and GCM. James Duff all the way.